Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number nine. And in this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about tables and bootstrap. So I'm going to show you guys how to use tables in bootstrap and also a little bit of cool functionality that bootstrap has added to some of the tables with uh, some classes and stuff. So uh, right now you'll notice that in my browser, I actually have a table but right now it doesn't look very good in fact it looks pretty crappy and that is because bootstrap doesn't add any styling to your table whenever you add a table without any class okay so what I've got here in my code is a table and it's got some information in the rows so uh, I don't know if I should expand these and just show you guys that there's information there but there we go so uh, we have this table, but it doesn't have any class and therefore it doesn't have any styling. And the reason why this happens is because the guys at Bootstrap or the guys who created Bootstrap uh, kind of decided, well, people actually use tables to create calendars and all sorts of other things in HTML. And they don't want Bootstrap to like be counterproductive and add its own styling to your calendar that you try to make uh, with a table. So what they decided to do was, instead of having default styling for a table, uh, you actually have to add a class to the table. So if I jump back over to my code and I add the class of table, then we will land up having a table that looks a lot more like a table because uh, now what we're doing is we're pulling through the bootstrap styling with this class. And I know it seems a little bit redundant that we've got table with a class of table, but like I said, that's there for a reason. So if we uh, jump back over to the browser and I hit refresh, you can see that now our table looks fantastic. It's all spaced out. Uh, we can see what's a header. We can see which ones are different rows and different columns. So it's pretty awesome. Okay, and uh, I want to show you guys a few other cool things we can do with Bootstrap because it doesn't only stop with that class. So we can go ahead and add uh, a few other classes as well. And I'm going to go ahead and add a secondary class of table dash striped. And if I save this now, I should land up with a striped table. So uh, as you can see that now I've refreshed this, I have the first row of my table has now got a dark background and the second row of my table also now has a dark background. And so that's what table stripe does is it just makes every alternating row or every second row a different color, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's a few other things we can do over here. So if I change this class from, from table striped to table bordered, I should land up with a bordered table. So this is just going to add borders around pretty much everything. So there we go. Uh, we have a border around each one of the cells. So now it looks a lot more like a scientific table or something. Like if we we're actually presenting some real statistics over here, we could go ahead and do that. And there are a few other classes, so I'm going to run through a couple of them. Uh, well, I'm going to run through all of them, actually. So we've got striped, we've got boarded. There's also a class called table hover. And what this does is uh, just change the row that we're hovering over. So I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh. And you can see that right now we've got a table, but none of the rows are highlighted or darkened or anything like that. But as soon as I move my mouse over one of the rows, the background changes color, which is pretty cool. In fact, uh, this is kind of like a little directory or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just there so that users don't lose their place as they're reading a really long table or something. That's quite useful. Uh, so we could do all of that. And there is another class that we can use, which is called table-condensed. Uh, and what table-condensed does is just condense the entire table. So it takes away some of the padding and stuff, and it just makes your table smaller. So if we go ahead and hit refresh, you can see 
the table kind of shrunk a little. Uh, so that's what the table condense class does. And we can use all of these uh, or all of these classes um, like together as well. So not only can I use table condensed, I could also use table striped. So now we have three classes on this table, but when I go ahead and hit save and I come back over here to the browser, I have a condensed table, so it's smaller than a normal table, but it also has the striped columns, which is pretty cool. And I know I'm saying that quite a lot in this tutorial. It's pretty cool, but hey, uh, yeah, you guys are going to have to deal with it. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, that is how we work with tables. But there is actually one last thing I'd like to show you guys, and we can, and that is that we can actually add um, different classes to the rows as well. So I'm going to get rid of uh, those two classes, and I'm still going to keep the class of table. Uh, but I'm going to go over to a couple of these rows and I'm going to add some classes to them as well. And what I want to do is just add a class of uh, active to the first one. And active is going to apply the same styling that hover would apply. So if I go ahead and save this and jump back over to the browser, you can see that now the first row is kind of uh, highlighted or darkened. So that's kind of just like if you wanted a row to display active by default, you could go ahead and add that class. Otherwise, you could use any of Bootstrap's uh, colors or words for the color scheme. So we could use success, info, warning, danger, or primary. And what that'll do is pull through the colors, which I have kind of shown you guys before. So we now have a uh, table row that is marked with the success color, which kind of just indicates that the user has done something positive or, uh, you know, bootstrap terms. You, you could read through the, uh, the, man, I totally forgot the word. I meant that you can read through the documentation to, uh, find out more which what each of these colors is supposed to represent but the names kind of give it away if you think about it and that is all I have for you guys in this video so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys and girls next time